Welcome to the channel guys. Today I'm going to show you how to change a clearance light on a camper. This is a keystone but most of your lights are pretty much universal. So the light I'm looking at today is going to be on the corner, top corner of the camper here. So my light's broken here, the lens is missing, there's a piece of tape over where the bulb's supposed to be. Uh, so I'm going to end up changing the housing and the lens on this one there's two screws here i believe these are either like six millimeter or nine thirty second socket fits on here six and a half mil uh, some are different some will have just phillips screws these lights again are pretty much universal on a lot of the campers if they're here this one obviously is an amber light up top one that's going to be an amber if you go around the back on this particular camper there is a light here in the back it's the same housing the lens color is different obviously the brake lights are different on this up top those are the same light same housing if you are just replacing the lens on these or, or you need to replace the bulb to remove the lens it's fair, fairly easy on these all you really need is, is some kind of a flat flathead screwdriver if you just insert it on the open edge of it and just give it a twist it will pop open just like that there's nothing that really holds it. It's these just a little lip on the housing that hangs on to the edge of the, the lens itself. Um, so at this point, yeah, you can uh, just pull out the bulb if that needs to be replaced and put a new bulb in. And when you're putting these back on, um, they just slip right back on. You'll hear it kind of lock in. You know, as it ages, it gets brittle. Sometimes they will break as you're trying to get them off if they've been on there a while. Uh, but that's super easy to do. Let's go ahead and change the housing on that uh, on the broken lens that we have So here's the original lens off of that broken light that I have on top uh, top corner uh, These are Bergman lights on there uh, Bergman 59 as far as uh, what they're called and there is a part number on these These are a bit more expensive. What I've gone with is uh, an optronic This is a complete housing for what you can get just the lens for even less than that, you can get the complete housing with the bulb and the back end of it to where the bulb hookup is with the lens. And it tends to be a lot cheaper than these. Even if you are just replacing the lens on the Bergman, the Optronic lens will fit that. It's the same exact make, same housing, same everything. Uh, just the names are different. Uh, so that does work. I have my gun here with a correct size socket. These happen to be six and a half millimeters, some are Phillips. So we'll go ahead and remove both of those screws. Another thing that you will need is a razor blade since these things are all sealed to the body, kind of. There's a there's a coat of silicone around it. So you just want to go around it and cut the cut the sealant so that way you are able to lift it off. Kind of like so. And there you have the whole housing off. Looks like there was a gasket underneath. We'll keep that intact here. I'm not needing to replace the pigtail on it, which is a wiring for the bulb in the back of the housing. You can just twist that counterclockwise and they'll come out of the housing. So this was broken here. That's the reason I'm looking to replace the housing. Once you have it off, you want to scrape the excess silicone off of the the surface here be careful not to go too deep into the into the surface and scratch that take some alcohol wipe and clean off the rest of the glue the new housing with the lens the new pigtail that came with this so you can just turn that counterclockwise and release it from there we'll go ahead and install this on the camper and the original pigtail will fit right into this they're the exact same uh, now in your case if you are if this is corroded uh, You need to replace it obviously You'll just be attaching these wires to the same existing wires that are in there cut the original pigtail off and install the new one if you need to uh, But in my case that's not needed So we'll use the original pigtail and install this new housing and that lens on there have our new light housing Into position here with the screws just hand tightened there pigtails back in it all we need to do is 
All we need to do is go ahead and tighten it up. You don't want to over tighten these. They're not really going into much behind it. The light does come with hardware. They give you Phillips screws. I ended up using my original screws since they are painted, coated, so I think they'll last longer. And we'll go ahead and put the new bulb into position here. And now we can go ahead and install our lens. That just pushes on just like so. And that's our new light. Now one of the last steps we do want to do is we want to take a bead of silicone around the housing to make sure it creates a watertight seal. That's very important. Otherwise the water will intrude and start corrosion inside and water will get inside through. I was able to take just regular dab uh, clear 100% silicone. Um, I put a small bead all the way around it and just ran my finger. That is again very important. You don't want any water getting into the into the camper itself um, so that will seal it you don't need a lot just enough to create a seal around the housing so when you are now looking to replace these lights you have many different options as far as uh, what style you want to go with the easiest thing to to do obviously is to stick with the same styles so you're not drilling any new holes into the into the camper itself um, so these work again these are optronics. There's uh, there there's other choices. You can go LEDs, but in my my case, I didn't want to do LEDs unless I was replacing all of them. There's about 13 of them on uh, on my particular camper. So if you're looking to replace all of them, absolutely, you have the option to go LEDs, which are much better. They last longer. They run cooler. Um, so that's an option. Uh, but again, all I need to do with replace one this is the way I went they're fairly easy to replace it comes with the bulb this is the way to go new housing and everything if you don't need to replace the housing just the lens itself for what you're going to pay for that barg man or what have you uh, these are uh, actually way cheaper even the lens itself from Op optronics will work on these housing their exact dimensions similar everything fits they work Thank you for watching.